Good morning. Muy buenos días. Uh, first, I want to just extend a word of welcome. Welcome to you all to this holy space. And brother, thank you for very much for reminding us of the Amistad. And, and it's, it's ironic, isn't it, that la amistad is friendship in Spanish. That could not be more of a, of a when I think about it, I just can't imagine how we could, how we could even refer to a ship of such destruction, such tragedy, and such disrespect in the form of friendship. But I do welcome you to this space, to this space, La Amistad, the chapel that we in the United Church of Christ have been so connected to. It's been part of our legacy and our legend, but part of our, our commitment and part of our witness to the fact that we must never, never, never forget who we are and whose we are. And as Jesus has called us to justice and to peace, now, I want to say a word about the, uh, about the summit in Kansas City. 15 years, yes, 15 years, 15 years ago, the first summit brought people together, brought people together to really talk. It seems like 15 years, a long time in the bigger picture, but 15 years is actually a lifetime for some. 15 years is how old some of our brothers and sisters live in the midst of the kind of violence that we're talking about. 15 years for them is a lifetime. As a mother and a grandmother and an aunt and a sister, I must tell you that I am standing here in solidarity with all of the grandmothers and all of the grandfathers, the fathers, the mothers, the brothers, the sisters, the aunties, the uncles, and all of the neighborhood friends who came together to form this grassroots, strength-based organization, the National Movement, the National Movement Against Gang Violence. Many years ago, I served in a public health position, and it was around violence prevention. So when I saw the statistics that were shared with all of us, when I saw those statistics, and really worked in the, in the neighborhoods and worked with the young people, the 15-year-olds who were really looking for a way. They were looking for those brothers and sisters and aunties and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers. They were looking to us. And I want to tell you how proud and how humbled we are in the United Church of Christ to be partnering with you. It is our privilege and a blessing to us to be partnering with all of us across any faith community, across all communities of neighborhoods, races, genders, we're all in this, to be a part of those lives of 15 year olds, 15 years old. So working together, we all know the sense of urgency. We realize a sense of urgency. Our children, our children, our generation, the ones that we are preparing for, are dying. I just heard the word about the young woman who was shot just recently, just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. And that is not abnormal. I want that to become abnormal. I stand here with you because I want it to not be the regular daily thing. I don't want to hear those kinds of statistics. It is wrong in our society when the leading cause of death for African-American young people is homicide, it is wrong. That is wrong. There's something wrong with a society that can accept that kind of evidence that we know is true. The Centers for Disease Control knows it's true. And we must band together to stop it. So we stand in solidarity in the liberation for our children and their children and the days to come. We totally support the summit. We are grateful for the long-standing work of my sister, the Reverend Salah Nolan Gonzalez. We stand in solidarity with brothers and sisters of all of the organizations, the interfaith group, the grassroots organizations, to sponsor this summit in Kansas City next week. And we urge those who are hearing this to be aware, to be with us, because you know what that summit's gonna do? 
It's going to bring all, every, all of the folks together and listen to the stories, listen to the, to the lives of those who are 15 and 30 and 45. That's what we're going to be about. You know, I'm reminded of a, um, of a quote that I carry with me often. It's from Lila Watson, an, an Aboriginal woman from Australia who said, if you are here to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you believe that your liberation is tied into mine, mm. let us walk together. In that spirit, I want to thank you. Thank you for the privilege of being with you. Thank you for the privilege of co-sponsoring this event. And thank you and thank God in the name of Jesus as we pray. Thank you. Thank you very much.